Hi, Sam here from the National Electronics Museum. Today we're going to be looking at our demo, the Crooks tube, also known as the cathode ray tube. Now, we have it set up and it's connected to a Tesla uh, high voltage coil. The glass tube contains gas at a very low pressure. When electricity is applied to the electrodes, the cathode emits a stream of electrons. These fast-moving electrons crash into the gas in the tube, causing it to glow, which allows us to see the path of the beam. Okay, we killed the lights. Uh, now we will, this is going to demonstrate the cathode ray tube and just how amazing it is. All right, I'm going to turn my Tesla coil on. We're going to see how it glows. Electrons are flowing through uh, the tube, and as they hit the gas in the tube, that causes them to fluoresce, give off this greenish light. You can also see the uh, shadow of the molten cross at the end of the tube. I'm going to see what happens when I take a, this bar magnet, and I'm going to put it on over top of the tube and see how it, the electrons interact with the magnet. You can see how they... We can see the particles in the tube are electrically charged by using a magnet. When I place the magnet near the tube, you will notice that the path of the particles is deflective. A magnetic field deflects the trajectory of the particles. This tells us that the particles are charged, and as we know, these particles are negatively charged since they are electrons. ray tube was used in a number of experiments and throughout these experiments some notable things were discovered. Um, X-rays um, and the electron in 1897 by a guy named J.J. Thompson. So as you can see even though this is more of an experimental type of apparatus um, a lot of really neat things came from this. All right thanks for watching today. Bye. <laughs>